Hello children, welcome back to yet another video in Vidya Lakshmi YouTube channel to celebrate the joy of learning. In today's class, we'll be seeing a new poem named Animals from Grade 10 English. Let's get into the poem. The poem Animals is written by Walt Whitman. Through this poem, the poet tells us that he feels more at home with animals than humans. See, the, uh, the pity. Walt Whitman says, more than being with humans, he feels animals are so close to him and he feels at home when he is with animals and whom he finds complicated and false. He finds human beings to be complicated, to be very tough to deal with and he finds human beings to be very false with their approach and attitude. They are not as they what portray to be. Okay, more kind of an hypocrite uh, uh, what is it, character is portrayed by Walt Whitman on human beings. Now. The poem is very simple. The poet makes it very clear that he says, the poet tells us that he feels more at home with animals than humans whom he finds complicated and false. In what way? Before that, just see Walt Whitman. This is Walt Whitman. See his beard with what majestic look he looks at us. Yes. We'll quickly jump into the lines of the poem. I think, okay, the poet, he starts the poem with a thought. He says that I think I could turn and live with animals. I could be with animals itself. I feel like being with animals itself. They are so placid and self-contained. They never complain for anything, children. They feel like whatever they have, whatever they possess is happy for them. Okay, animals are more self-contained than human beings. Okay, see, more kind of uh, an example we say, however money we earn, to what much heights we go in life, we say we want more, we want more. Okay, that's the tendency of a human being. Whereas animals, they are more self-contained. Okay, and then he says, I stand and look at them long and long. The poet, he says that he stands and looks at these animals long and long. He just like closely watches their activities. He closely watches what is going on with the activities of the animals. He stands and watches them long and long. They do not sweat and whine about their condition. It's only human beings who whine about their condition, children. Whine means complaining. Sweat means feeling tired. Okay. It is only the human beings who feel very tired and they feel very tired. Wine means complain. The poet says that unlike human beings, the animals don't feel tired. The animals, they don't complain about anything in life. They accept whatever comes to them happily or at least they don't complain about it. It is only the human beings who say, it is only me, it is only for me, all the miseries are happening. It is only for me, all the unlucky things are happening. But animals are not like that. So they do not sweat and whine about their condition. No, never. Animals, they never complain about their position or their condition in their life. They do not lie awake in the dark and weep for their sins. We usually do it, right? It is only the human beings who always weeps, who feels so sad during night time for all the sins and for all the mistakes that we have, they have done. We clearly know that whatever we uh, feel, to however uh, extent we uh, like feel for the things that we have done as a wrong deed, it is not going to be in any way useful because whatever is done is done, you can't change it. Not realizing this, human beings they stay awake during the night, dark in the sense night and weep for their sins but animals they don't. What they do, say if they do a mistake, if they commit a mistake, if their master says no you should not do it, they will not do it from the next time. That is what is required from everyone and from anyone. If you commit a mistake to err is human children, to err is human, that is a, there is a problem like this, to err is human. So, committing mistakes is a quality of a human being. So, what is the use of worrying about it? What is the use of complaining about it? We have to try our level best not to repeat it. 
that is more important right that is done by animals not by the human beings they do not make me sick discussing their duty to god okay it is only the human beings who always say i want to do this i want to do that see how my responsibility has gone see how my situation has gone see like i want to do this to god i have promised and so like i have to explain everything to my relatives this is done only by human beings but rather animals what they do if they feel like saving someone if they feel like being true to someone even if it is not their master they will be true to them if not they will not be bothered about they will be least bothered about anyone okay they do not make me sick discussing their duty to god not one is dissatisfied this is the key word children not one is dissatisfied none of the animals are dissatisfied with their position in their life children none of the animals it is only the human being who keeps on saying who keeps on weeping through their entire life see it is only for me all the bad things are happening see i should have been in that position now i am here i should have earned that much but now i am here it is only the human being's quality to feel like this not the animals none of them are dissatisfied not one is demented with the mania of owning things okay mine 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 this is this is mine this should be mine i should earn this much this quality is possessed only by the human beings not by the animals they never have the habit of owning things they never have the habit of possessing things they only have the habit of trying to be true to their master or do their things without like what to say disturbing anyone but it is the human beings nature to own things okay to own things in life this is mine i should possess this i should own this this is my place this is my money this is my family these qualities are with only human beings children not with the not with the animals and to put things in a more kind of a detailed way he goes even more further let's see what he says not one kneels to another not to his kind that lived thousands of years ago it is only the human beings who fall in other's feet children none of the human beings will fall to other uh, uh, what to say none of the uh, animals will fall to their own breed or kneel before them it is only the quality of human being to kneel to other human beings who have lived thousands of years ago or like their elders animals never do that children because they feel like if i do my work i should be treated well if i am not uh, like doing my work properly you can do me anything that should be the quality or that should be the tendency but we humans we fall into others feet right walt whitman says falling into others feet especially in the name of elders and people who lived thousands of years ago it is not a good thing according to walt whitman so and he also says not one is respectable or unhappy over the whole earth okay walt whitman says it is only the human being human beings who is always unhappy you see anyone can you pinpoint any one person on this earth who says that i am the happiest man on this earth who will say that i am more happy with whatever i am having i am more blessed by god so i am happy none of them will say right none of them will say right nowadays the tradition has become like if we even ask someone how are you they will say oh, yeah it's going okay i'm fine and now it's a tradition to say yeah not bad they will never admit that they are happy in their life but none of the uh, like animals can say that they are not happy see if you even give some eatables if you make them happy if you do something which makes them thrilled they will become overjoyed they will never show their unhappy uh, attitude anywhere okay maybe kind of anger can be showed if you do something bad to them unless or until you you do something bad to the animals they will not harm us in any way it is only the human beings without any reason we keep on being dissatisfied we keep on being unhappy okay then then he goes to another extent he says so they show their relations to me and i accept them 
because of all these reasons okay when they show their relation to me when they behave so nice to me i accept them with whole heart i accept them because they never do anything wrong they are true to them they never kneel to others they never complain about anything they never show that they are unhappy so if all these good things are there with the animals if they behave good to me what is there uh, to uh, or say accept them with both hands the poet says walt whitman says, says that since they show their relation to me i accept them happily i accept them and then they bring me tokens of myself they evince them plainly in their possession when i see them when i see them i can see a token of myself being given to me see normally i am not happy children the poet says normally i am not happy if i spend time with these animals he is not mentioning what animal he is spending time with but generally he is saying animals he is saying that when i feel down if these animals come and show their relation to me i feel like they are bringing a token of myself to me okay they bring a token of myself to me they evince them plainly in their possession and they make me so happy and because of their possession they feel like like i belong to them and they belong to me that itself makes me so happy and then i wonder where they get those tokens i really wonder okay walt whitman says i really wonder i feel like it's like a dream for me to realize where do these animals bring such kind of tokens of love towards me where do they find these tokens did i pass that way huge times ago and negligently drop them and he also finishes the poem with a with a with a question saying that he feels poet feels walt whitman feels that had i ever made them feel negligent had i ever made them feel ignored he feels sorry for all those times he ignored them he feels very sad he feels very depressed for all those times when he neglected them okay so with such kind of a uh, uh, deep emotion walt whitman says he feels at home when he is with when he is with animals so try loving animal children because they never act false they never act unhappy they never act dissatisfied okay they are so true children they are so true unlike human beings so animals are far 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 better than human beings is the like what is the conclusion of the poem animals and that is it children i hope uh, the class was uh, useful for you if there is any query to be uh, there don't forget to don't hesitate to ask any questions in the comment box do comment like share and subscribe our youtube channel keep yourself away from all uh, infections stay home stay safe meet you in yet another video from vidyalakshmi youtube channel to celebrate the joy of learning bye bye